Hi, this is Tommy Ray, and I have been intermittent fasting for 44 days now, so I'm in week seven, and I have lost almost 20 pounds now through intermittent fasting. But the weight loss process has been a long one for me. Um, back in July of 2019, I weighed 334 pounds, and between July and January of 2020, I lost um, 30 pounds, but it wasn't from dieting. I actually let my blood sugars get way out of control, and I, I had a blood sugar level of 450, and my A1C was above 14. So my body um, what was basically going into shock, and I was in crisis mode. So it started uh, forcing me to lose weight really rapidly, and I went to the doctor and found out that I um, was in a crisis because I had not been managing my diabetes. I wasn't. I hadn't taken a, a blood glucose test in like five months and I ate whatever I wanted. Mm -hmm. um, so at that time, my doctor said I needed to do, just do something to control my diabetes. So I immediately changed to a low glycemic index diet and that helped out with the diabetes. Um, between January and April, my, my blood sugar levels fell from 450 to uh, about 150. So that was a great change. Unfortunately, I only lost uh, about half a pound during that time. So I was really looking for something that to help jumpstart uh, my weight loss and that's when I discovered intermittent fasting. So when I started intermittent fasting, um, I weighed just under 296. And um, the first 30 days, I lost about 11 pounds and uh, another two weeks has gone by now. And uh, my weight loss is just under 20 pounds now. Um, and a lot has to do with, with intermittent fasting. I, I, I'm gonna give it all that credit. But uh, people I talk to, they, they, they want to know, well, if you're in an intermittent fast, what do you eat and when do you eat? Well, I, I follow a 20 and 4 cycle. So that means I fast for 20 hours of the day and I feed for 4 hours of the day. And so I wanted to go into and show you what I eat during that time period to show you how I got the results. And I'm also going to share with you um, at the end here some pictures of what I looked like back in 2019 in July. Um, when I weighed 334 pounds and now that I, I'm down to um, about 200 and uh, almost 75 pounds um, about 20 uh, about I have about a uh, 50 pound weight loss um, since July and 20 pounds since I started intermittent fasting um, so that I'll show you those pictures here at the end here so you can see the, the before and after the differences that, that it makes and uh, as I said for me in terms of what really made a difference in my intentional weight loss and really driving uh, my health journey is intermittent fasting. And so it's really important to me. Um, so what I do is I, I, I do generally stop eating around 5 to 6 p.m. at night and then I'll fast another 20 hours. Um, I do what they call clean fast, which means that during the 20 hours I'm fasting, I only drink water and I can have tea that is unsweetened um, or I can have coffee that's unsweetened and has no cream in it. Um, my preference is tea. And I'll, I'll have tea um, generally in the morning when I wake up and in the um, evening before I go to bed. So I just want to go ahead and start, sh sh start that off and show you what I, what, what I go ahead and, and, and have. Okay, in the morning when I wake up and before I go to bed, I do like to have green tea here. Um, it's, it's a natural green tea. It's not decaffeinated, so um, it does help me get going in the morning here, get, give me a little bit of caffeine that's in the tea bags themselves. And you know, I just put in a cup of hot water. Do not add any sugar. I don't even add artificial sweetener. And the reason why is, is that studies have found that even artificial sweetener will um, stimulate the production of insulin. So if you just put artificial sweetener in your drink, that will stimulate insulin. And insulin um, stimulation is what's gonna prevent you from losing weight and, and being in a ketosis mode. So if you wanna be in ketosis, um, you wanna stay away from anything that is actually sugar or artificial sweeteners um, to, to, keep, to keep that spike in insulin from going up. So um, for me, it's just plain old green tea. Okay, it is almost 2 p.m. and so it's time for me to go ahead and break my fast. Um, and so I like to start breaking my fast by uh, making a smoothie. So I like to you have a spinach and banana smoothie with some seeds. And so what, what I'd like to do is start off with um, about a half dozen ice cubes in my cup. And then I'll go ahead and add in um, about a cup of spinach. To that cup of spinach, I'm going to go ahead and add about a half cup of almond milk. This is homemade almond milk that I 
uh, prepared. Half a banana. I like to put in a teaspoon of flax seeds and a teaspoon of chia seeds plus a tablespoon of hemp hearts or hemp seeds. Um, the seeds are really important because they do provide fiber as well as protein and um, give you a sense of satiety from, and make me feel uh, full from, from the smoothie itself. Plus the, uh, the hemp seeds uh, and all the seeds are packed with protein and omegas, uh, omega-3 and omega-6, so they're really healthy for you. And then lastly, I'll go ahead and put in a teaspoon of uh, vanilla extract. There's my homemade vanilla extract. And go ahead and blend that up real quick for a second. Yummy spinach and banana smoothie. And then I'm gonna go ahead and also have some um, toast. I like to uh, have, have either a, a, a toast made with artisan bread or with um, sourdough bread topped with um, avocados. And I'll go ahead and show you how I do that here in a minute as well. And when it's time for me to start eating food, I actually like to, like I mentioned, have some toast with avocado. And with the avocado, the way I like to prepare that avocado is to go ahead and um, take a half avocado. Oof. Here we go. And put on some everything but the bagel seasoning from Trader Joe's. Adding in a little bit of red pepper and a squeeze of lime. I really like the taste of lime with my avocado. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and mash that up and get it ready to spread on top of my toast. Go. It's on everything but the bagel guacamole there. And then for the toast, what I like to do is to get a piece of artisan bread or sourdough bread, that's what we have here, cut, cut off a piece. There we go. Then I'm gonna toast this up. So hold on for just one minute while I put this in a toaster. Okay, we're back and here I have my toasted up piece of bread. We're gonna go ahead and just generously apply our avocado to it. And then I like to round that out with some fresh fruit. Generally, I like to have, if I have some grapes on hand, a little bit of blackberries, and a couple of strawberries. And that's what I like to break my fast with, my spinach smoothie and my avocado toast with some fresh fruit. Sometimes I like to have a little snack between um, when I break my fast and when I have my dinner. So when I do that, I like to go ahead and grab a handful of nuts, usually um, roasted almonds or some cashews, um, make a great snack for me. For dinner tonight, I'm gonna go ahead and make some flank steak with some long grain wild rice and some asparagus. So let me show you how I do that. For the flank steak, I actually start with a marinade. And so to start the marinade, I'm gonna go ahead and crush some garlic here.
with that. And my little, I love this little garlic press. I found this once at uh, the grocery store and I've been looking for a second one ever since because people always ask me about it, but uh, I don't know where to get another one. All right, we're gonna set this crushed garlic aside. We'll put that on our steak here in a little bit. Next, we take our steak and we're just gonna open it up and score it real quick. So flank steak is important that we score it just so that we can get this get the marinade to go ahead and and uh, soak deep into it. it. Makes the steak nice and tender as well. Then put some black pepper on there. Put that into a gallon sized bag because we're going to put a pet of marinade in it. So the marinade is going to consist of a quarter cup of olive oil, a quarter cup of uh, a quarter cup of soy sauce, and a half cup of orange juice. Into that, we also add in our garlic. Seal this bag and refrigerate that for about the next two and a half hours. And in two and a half hours, I'll put it on the grill, make myself some rice and some asparagus, and I'll show you the final dinner that I'll have tonight. And here's my finished meal, flank steak with asparagus, wild grain rice, watermelon, and a roll. And I'll have a glass of water with this. And later tonight, I'll go ahead and have hot tea before I go to bed as well. And that's what I eat in a day. If you enjoyed this video, please hit like, and also don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Thanks for joining us today as you watched what I eat in a day.